I am Rosalyn Gunjiri, mother to Joseph. I come from Utawala. My name is Ari Florence, born in Abir, Uganda. Mama Hilda is traveling today to the US. My name is uh, Matthew Kemoyo. I come from uh, Makindu in Makueni County. My name is uh, Ezekiel Opatio Mkuya. I'm uh, Shali's dad. Well, today I'm here to see if my daughter is uh, going for studies in the US and uh, the Kenya airlift program. And uh, actually, that is simply why I'm here. Yeah, it's uh, mixed emotions. We are very super excited that, uh, you know, Shalim has gotten an opportunity to go out there and advance our education. We are here to see off my son, my firstborn, uh, to see him off. As um, we thank God for today because it's a dream come true. These are things that we thought that will never come. But we are here today to testify that it is possible, that there's nothing that is impossible in this world with God. I feel so anxious. And I feel so like, hey, should she go today? I, I could have wished that she goes another day. As much as I've been a, a project manager, as you say, I feel I'm going to miss her so much. You are watching Success with Bob Muiti Show, presented to you by the Kenya Airlift Program. The Kenya Airlift Program is an award-winning education financing scheme that helps bright Kenyan students to pursue graduate studies in North America regardless of their financial background. You can find our programs by going to www.kenyaairliftprogram.com. The Kenya Airlift Program empowering dreams uh, what i can say is that uh, i'm quite confident she's going to make it because uh, she has already outlined to me what she wants and uh, according to my assessment um, certain she'll achieve god willing i know joseph is a very focused man we have seen him since ever since he was a young man. He would pursue, he's a go-getter, and that is where he's here. All the efforts that has about this program, it has been him. I was only getting updates, and this is mom, this is where I am, and we really prayed for him. We gave him all the support that he needed, and here he never gave up. When he, this is, apparently this is his second attempt. When he was denied the first time, he was very devastated, but I told him never to lose hope. Probably it was not God's timing, but God's timing is all the best. It's always the best. And here we are to testify, yeah, true, that this is his timing and God had purposed that this is the time for him to go. You know, good for her. I'm sure through that she'll be able to contribute a lot to, in terms of, you know, building their career and uh, also transforming lives. The moment we stay together, she's the only girl I have. The moment we sit late talking, I'm going to miss her so, so much. But uh, because life has to move from one point to the other, I have to release her to go and further her studies. And with the Kenya Health, which has done so wonderful, it is good. I really um, appreciate uh, the entire uh, Kenya Hairlift, our staff, and uh, Bob. I thought it is not going to work, but I keep on encouraging, move, move on, move on. You know, most people want to really to go and study, and they are very bright. Sometimes you join uh, some programs, you, they can't guide you the way she was guided, step by step, until she reached where she was reached. The 
whites, you know, they are going to see you like maybe a monkey or what, <laughs> but please feel that you are uh, a human being, like Anna Atta, feel confident the way you have been, and uh, mingle with them with time. They come and appreciate you, then, uh, I mean, you, you'll be okay. My advice to her and anybody else, when uh, you go to a new environment, you don't rush to things. I told her to take her time, learn the environment, uh, stick to our principles before maybe getting into the systems that are there, that she may not be misled or swayed from our main goal of going there. Let him not change who he is, who we know him to be. Let him keep the values that he has been having and carry them over there. That is my joy and that is my prayer as a parent. That uh, to, to be patient and uh, to always support their children. If that child's dream is to go out there, let them support them, give them all that they need. And when that time comes, they will get, let them not lose hope. When they get a first denial, let them keep pursuing it and, and encourage their children to, to achieve what they want. Let them be their supporters. Yeah. Well, according to my assessment, and from what I'm getting from my daughter, I think uh, Kenya Lift program is a good program. I would encourage many to join because it is an opening for our youth to get exposed outside the country. And by so doing, they will also earn a living. Uh, bearing in mind uh, we have limited uh, opportunities in our country. Yeah, so if they can expand the horizon, especially in terms of employment, it can be a blessing to the country and also to our youth. You have been watching Success with Bob Mwiti Show, brought to you by the Kenya Airlift Program. Come back again next time to learn concepts, tools, strategies, and resources on the path of becoming a successful immigrant in North America through real-life experiences. Be sure to subscribe to the Kenya Airlift Program YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook, X, Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn.